Greece will go to the polls on Sunday to vote in a referendum to decide whether to accept fresh austerity measures in exchange for a new bailout package. Recent polls show that the No campaign, backed by the government, holds a slender lead and the gap is narrowing. We spoke to some No campaigners to find out why they think the country should reject the proposals. This very proposition is totally impossible to be applied by any uh, government of Greece. There will be a very big crisis if these very measures that I propose uh, will be applied. This will be a very tough fight because the media they are uh, against our uh, fight, our struggle. They want to defeat uh, the first left government that tries to act uh, to the favor of the people and not to the favor of the rich, the favor of the uh, companies. It won't be a close election from my point of view. Uh, we should not rely on this, but uh, from my experience, I, I would um, risk an estimate of 60% no vote or 40% uh, yes vote. However, some European leaders have warned that a no vote could mean Greece leaving the Eurozone. But the no campaigns say that all that will happen is that Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras will have a stronger mandate to argue back against the creditors. We're honest with Europe. We want to find an uh, honest agreement that we will be able to apply. So I believe that a no to this referendum will give this government strong arguments that the people are against propositions that are irreasonable, that are uh, inapplicable. It will be not only good for the Greek, but to the whole Europe, for the whole uh, for the whole countries that of the of the south that they are in austerity measures, and uh, it will be, I think, uh, the first uh, wind of change.